Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I'm reviewing the first two of five UK Christmas Yankee candle scents. So I don't have a clue why they've bought them out so early this year. I've never known them to be out this early before. Um, we've only just had the autumn collection really for maybe a month at most. Um, so I'm really shocked that they've bought these out already. Like we've not even had a Halloween or anything yet. So don't know why they've released them so early, but it's not even like any of the other stockists have got them and just released them early. Yankee Candle have actually already put these on their website. So you are able to get all of the scents in free formats. You can get the large jar, the medium jar or the wax melt like what I've got here. The autumn scents, you could only get them in a large or medium jar. They didn't do the um, scented tarts for them. So I feel like they just really couldn't be bothered with autumn. The scents weren't that great. They was only offering, well, I know they're not offering every format in these, but at least you can have the wax melts. Um, so I feel like autumn was just sort of put out there and then forgotten about. But these have come out so quick. I just, I don't think I've ever known a time for them to come out like mid-July it's just ridiculously early I thought we would have had Halloween first and then got these released maybe end of October earliest so you can see here today I'm reviewing Snowflake Kisses and Winter Night Stars but I do also have we've got Sugar Spun Flurries we've got Snow Globe Wonderland and then we've got peppermint pinwheels so they i'll probably try and do all three of those in the next video um so i thought i'd just split it into a couple of videos so the wax melts are 1.99 the large jar on the yankee candle website is 27.99 or the medium jar is 22.99 and again these are on the uk website now but you can get them from other places such as temptation gifts or candles direct and they're normally a little bit cheaper in price as well. Especially, I know Temptation Gifts normally do the large jars for £18 or £19. So quite a bit of difference there. Um, I did keep a little bit of the wax in both of these as well. Just so you could see the colour of the wax. So Snowflake Kisses is a pale pink colour. And Winter Night Stars is a sort of turquoise blue colour. So I'll start off with reviewing um, Winter Night Stars. So we've got top notes of citrus, fresh fallen snow and eucalyptus, mid notes of rose with solar winter bloom and base notes of snow, amber, woody, ivory, musk. Um, and just to let you know as well, the wax melts, they burn for up to eight hours. On the stronger sense, sometimes you can get away with cutting them in half. But just so you know, for the review side, I did use the whole wax melt apart from the little bit you can see I've shaved off and kept just to show you the colour of the wax. So, for me, I don't feel like Winter Night Stars was that great. Um, it was, I was expecting it to be like ones they've done in the past, like Icy Blue Spruce and ones like that. Those sort of muskier scents. There's always normally one bought out at Christmas that's got that sort of, the musky notes to it. So, Icy Blue Spruce is the one that I can think of off the top of my head. It's a similar colour. I thought it was, with the notes that were in it, I thought it's going to be that style scent. But it's probably one of the weakest scents that I've had with those notes, if that makes sense. So normally the scents um, like Icy Blue Spruce, they're not my favourite, but they normally smell quite strong. But Winter Night Stars just, it hasn't performed very well at all. I'd say I can smell the like the amber, the woody smell, the ivory musk, but the throw is just so, so weak. Um, which I really didn't expect from them scent notes. I really thought it would be a lot better than that. So for the throw rating on that one, maybe like a three out of 10. Um, and I feel like that might be being a bit generous. I was burning it in a fairly small space. There was no draft. So it had no, no reason to not perform well. But for me, just a bit of a shocker because normally this is, they always bring out like out of the handful of Christmas scents, you've always got one that's like a bit powdery, one that's a bit musky and a sweet one sort of thing. So I really expected this one to be strong. I didn't especially, I didn't especially think I'd like it, but I expected it to be stronger than it was. So for me, I would not get Winter Night Stars again. Very weak throw. Um, might be better if you got it in a large jar and popped it under an electric candle lamp, but you shouldn't have to do that every time just to make it perform well. So Unfortunately, Winter Night Stars was a no for me. So, 
Snowflake Kisses. Sorry, my camera's a bit wobbly today. I am trying to hold it with my hand because I couldn't get a good view of putting it this way for you. So, Snowflake Kisses, as you can see here, and they have got the little logos on that's the same on the jars as well. The top notes for this, we've got Peach Nectar with Strawberry and Raspberry. Mid notes of Violet and Oris with Rose. And then a base note of powdery accord, sandalwood and white musk. So this for me wasn't what I was expecting at all. And it was actually quite strong, stronger than you. Um, it, it was quite, um, so the notes in there, I get mainly the powdery accord, the sandalwood, the white musk. But on cold and once burning, it actually smelt a bit like a very clean laundry detergent scent with maybe some baby powder thrown in there. So I feel like if you're a fan of Yankee Candles baby powder, you're gonna like Snowflake Kisses. For me, it's very similar, but it's just got some extra notes thrown in there. Um, I couldn't overly smell like the strawberry or the raspberry. Maybe a little bit of the rose comes through, but for me, it was mainly the, the powderiness coming through, that clean baby powdery um, laundry detergent sort of smell. I really liked it. It was a really clean smell, but it, didn't make me think of Christmas. I feel like maybe this should just be more part of like their all the time range, the ones that are always out. But obviously laundry detergent and baby powder don't make me think of Christmas personally. But I did like it, maybe just not for Christmas. I'd give it a throw rating of six out of 10. So quite a bit higher than Winter Night Stars. I did like it, burnt them both in exactly the same place with the same warmer. Um, no drafts or anything, so they've both had the same chance to perform well. But Snowflake Kisses was definitely the best for me out of these two. Obviously, once I've burnt the next three, I'll do like what was my I'll do my do them in order of like best and to worst out of the five. Um, I think the one that I'm really looking forward to is probably maybe peppermint pinwheels because candy cane lane is one of my favorites ever yankee candle scents and i'm kind of hoping that this has got a lot of peppermint in it and it's going to sort of give me memories of candy cane lane but i feel like i might have saved the best for last the last three um when these got announced these probably were the three that i thought would perform the best so be interested to see how i review them and rate them but i'll get them reviewed and get them out in the next video for you um, as always, thank you for watching. Let me know if you've tried any of the Christmas scents already. Uh, let me know what you thought about them and I'll get that next video out for you soon.